you're a godlike player, you still have to like do the diligence and do the work to get through exactly. the wall. Exactly. Especially uh, when you're playing with a character that you're very new with. Like MK Leo's only been playing with uh, Wolf for right. about a week. <laughs> I think not even that long. <laughs> like, five days. Putting six everyone six. on blast. Yeah, my day three Wolf won yeah. the tournament. By the way, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like he did that. Uh, what, what tournament was it? Heart of the Battle. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Heart of Battle. Worded. And then Wadi and him did doubles and won with Rosa Wolf, which yeah. they've both been playing those characters for six days. Yeah, so. I actually got to call the uh, the finals for that uh, for that doubles the whole Pretty entire time. Pretty funny. My co-commentator are going. If they lose, do you think they're going to switch characters? They, they lose a game. They didn't switch them. No, like, they're not going to switch. <laughs> these Madmen. I think they're actually going to go through <laughs> with the whole. They were having the too deal. much fun, man. <laughs> like they, they just believed in their secondary so much. Haven't seen that Rosa lately though. Yeah. Where's that Rosa at? <laughs> it's a double. It's a double thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's that's a fair. Thing. I, I would have thought it'd be gone, you know, the other way because just because Luma dies so easily that in doubles it'd be right. rough. But you know. Exactly. And yeah, they won with it. I can't say anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah I gotta hold the L at SoCal. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, here we go. And you're right. He is indeed a Richter. And right. Zero Suit. Happy to see him use uh, her instead of one of his secondaries. Opening up with Battlefield, and as we said, Mars versus Nitro. You got CT Lux <laughs> on the mic here with my co-commentator. Senpai. And we, let's see where we're at. We're at winner's quarter, so, you know, the winner of this will be guaranteed top five uh, or top six of the tournament. Oh, that always feels good. You yeah. know, going through on winner's side, it's broken, man. You get so much further. <laughs> and, right. But, of course, on the loser side, it's a little, you got to go twice as hard. Exactly. <laughs> but right now, we're seeing things pretty even here. Mars moving across the stage right. man that nair to back air oh and that setup almost catching him with another back air off stage and with a character like richter i mean even if he didn't hit the blast zone he wasn't going to make it back it's probably got to be the most uncomfortable even oh my Woo. god there's that flip jump kick on the ledge but as i was mm -hmm. saying that it might have been like a really uncomfortable even for nitro because he had been like on the ropes the entire match but the percents were pretty close mars was able to find some separation uh kind of his go-to option just the uh flip jump kick off yeah. the ledge. Like any anytime this opponent grabs the ledge, the flip jumps coming out and it's just threatening it. <laughs> and they're going back to work. You know, Nitro just trying to figure out how to take this stock. It's no easy task. Mars is always so oh, oh my Woo! god. <laughs> and I love that option so much from Mars. Like setting up the you know when someone's gonna roll, you wanna use that neutral B and just catch them with an extra stun, extra damage, and then follow up with anything you want. And Nitro just doing everything he can to get back to the stage and try to reset up, but Mars having none of it. Here we go. He got him off stage. That's the fortunate thing about the knockback going up. You know, you hit your opponent away, and even with the balloon knockback style, you still have at least some time to set up your projectile wall. Pays pays dividends for Nitro, and he closes out that stock, and he's got a uh, percent deficit to make up. Absolutely, man. At least he got the stock, but the percentage is not looking so great. And Mars is continuing to be his, you know, his excellent aggressive. Oh, uh oh, this could be big. Here we go. <laughs> Who's kicking that? <laughs> Speaking of aggressive options, right? Oh, uh, there we go. He got a, a plasma whip and seals that second stock. And Mars one stock away from bringing home game three. Yeah, and even though they nerfed her down throw combos, I mean, they gave her a kill option with side special. And that movement, man, it has so many hitboxes on it. People often drop shield too early for it. Not quite the brawl level of side special, but pretty close. Uh, some of us looking take. good either way, <laughs> right? And that's got to be difficult too. With the new forward, there, I can see that being such a potent edge guard tool for Zero Suit against uh, against Richter, because mm -hmm. you know the, the Belmonts obviously have their their own issues to work through when they're off stage. Uh, mm. On stage is a different matter if they're able to set up and get the projectile while going. Exactly. It's, just, uh, it's that off stage when there's no ground. It's like projectile little Mac going on. <laughs> and here we go. Here's the forward air. He's just threatening it. And it's you kind of feel like it's only a matter of time before Mars just. Feels uh, oh, there we go. I was going to say, oh, he scared him anyway. <laughs> I was going to say, it's only a matter of time before Mars starts feeling aggressive and goes after him just a little bit uh, mm -hmm. to threaten and keep him honest. And he did it right there and just enough to make it so Nitro can recover. Right, and he only hit him with one hit of that forward air, too, and it was more than right. enough to <laughs> take Richter off. All right, let's see what kind of adjustment Nitro's going to make. I think he's going to probably want to look for a bigger stage if he's able to pick one. Um, just something that... It's just because, like, from the 3-2-1 go, it just seemed like Mars was just all over him. No time to really throw out anything. Mm -hmm. And here, yeah, final destination. Looks like it's the pick, so he is going to go for that open game. A little more runaway room. But on the flip side of it, the uh, no platforms means that, oh, okay, he just switched characters. It means that he's going <laughs> to go know, Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, the <laughs> the platforms going away makes it a little more easy for Zero Suit to get in. But that doesn't matter if you're the blue ball of speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this switch. 
uh, just was having a lot of trouble recovering for one and getting in whatsoever. And right. she was just breaking right through his walls. The, none of those projectiles were a problem for Mars. And already just looking so much better. Puts up 44 damage. Uh, unanswered until that 6 damage from Mars showing that Sonic does have a hurt box in this game. Right. <laughs> and I like the way that he was spacing outside of what she's doing. As soon as he would get a hit, just back off. No need to overextend when you're in the uh, percent lead. There you go. Oh, there's a good, there's a good read in that tech chase scenario. Just went for the homing attack. And let's see what you know. Let's see what adaptation Mars is able to make because he looks like he's struggling a little bit with this neutral. But I think that's kind of true to the archetype of Zero Suit versus Sonic in this matchup in particular. It you know Zero Suit kind of waits for her one hit and then puts on a whole bunch of damage once she gets it. Right. This matchup has always been a little bit weird. And yeah, it, just like you said, you always do take a bit of percentage. Uh, in the last game, you can utilize Rage a lot to right. overcome this, but it's not as potent in this game. And uh, Sonic's recovery off. Oh, okay. That Woo! doesn't matter. <laughs> if you just get a standard get up and a down smash, uh, right. the forward smash, that's a. Uh, We're that's still a stand uh, neutral getting up versus Zero Suit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it, it's definitely a scary situation because you never know what she wants to do. She can cover that jump, she can cover anything, right. so. Oh, it's forward. Oh, not quite enough to kill with that forward air. Ooh, oh, covering spring. so many options. Ooh. Spring. There we go. Oh, wow. He, him making side special not look so bad in a forward smash. Going to take the stock and a taunt just to show him, hey, you're not the only one with that button. Yeah, just kind of a little, you know, Sonic leans back slightly when he does that forward smash. And it looked like, you know, Mars spaced that neutral air just right into the, the, the danger zone of Sonic's exactly. forward smash. <laughs> Scary spot to be in, and now trying to trap him on the ledge once more. I like the up smash right there into an up air. Just attack on a bit more percent. It's a good bit of sequencing on Mars' part, because as we said, that down smash first got the punish, and then he covered the jump instead, because he knew that Nitro was going to attack. Exactly, yeah. All right, good jabs right there. Oh, okay. That, so man, elusive. that looks so weird. The spin <laughs> dash, man. It looks crazy in this game. And you know Mars is super aggressive, so he's, like, wanting to go out and hit it, but yeah, he's like, it's hard to tell. Yeah, he's like, when do I get to... <laughs> Is it safe now? Can I go for it now? <laughs> it's like, no, wait. Oh, we tried to out B right there, but it got clinked out. You just sees Yersu kind of knock back and sit there for a second. This is dangerous for Nitro. Let's see if he's able to make it back. Plasma whip coming through, and... Uh-oh. Ooh, Big the finish. down smash. That's a good time for, Mar you know, for Mars if he's going to go for that rogue boost kick right then and there before, you know... His damage was too high, it would actually cost him a stock. Exactly. And a great back air right there definitely is going to take it. And of course, the up taunt from Mars. Just he was <laughs> he was just saying the other day that he likes using that one, especially if the person is uh, able to hear the game sounds. Uh -huh. So they can really think about that. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> what else you got? Wow, good out special to, uh, to cover the ledge. I think it's going to be like the future of some oh of Zero gosh. Suits meta, the, uh, the out special, you know, away from the ledge to cover Right. It. Yeah, it has such a wide hitbox, so I definitely like that. And he's using these nares perfectly into the up air, up air, and a great forward air to cover himself as she was coming up for another one. Right. Yeah, he saw Mars wait for that air dodge read, and he knew the up air was coming out, and Nitro uh, fortunate to get the forward air to cover it. Yeah, you, you can't keep giving up the same options or, or, you know, just let her shark underneath you. Wow, that's such a precarious situation. Air dodge back to the stage, just barely. Yeah, smart, smart to go for it. She was just looking too terrifying. All right, what's the plan? This is starting to get a little bit out of hand, and it's already game two. Yeah, I think, you know, Mars in such a comfortable lead. Nitro's going to have to pull off something really, really, really crazy with Sonic. And I'm just not sure if Sonic is the character, you know, with those really crazy options to, to put away a zero suit at low percentages. Right. This was looking so good before, but okay, I like that. Actually able to get the hit in there. That's going to take the stock. All right, Nitro, if you have any gimmicks to throw out, now's the time. But uh, two, that three, <laughs> two or three rolls? I don't think that's Yeah, that's not the gimmick. That